When it comes to a woman's fertility, blood testing um, is important because it can help us uh, physicians uh, determine many aspects of their uh, reproductive potential and reproductive options. Um, blood tests, uh, including hormonal testing, can um, help us uh, determine a woman's ovarian reserve um, or a quantity and um, just help us guide them better in their reproductive and fertility journey. Uh, my name is Sarah Arian, MD, MS. I am a reproductive endocrinologist and uh, infertility specialist at Boston IVF. FSH um, stands for follicle stimulating hormone. This is a hormone that is secreted by our pituitary gland, uh, which is a small gland underneath the brain. And um, as the name um, suggests, FSH or follicle stimulating hormone stimulates growth um, of an ovarian follicle. So in the first half of a woman's menstrual cycle, there is um, secretion of FSH from, from the pituitary hormone, which can result in growth of an ovarian follicle um, containing um, an egg. Estradiol or estrogen is a hormone that is secreted by a woman's ovaries. And so as the follicle is growing in response to follicle stimulating hormone, it starts secreting estrogen or estradiol. And by measuring the level of estrogen in, in the blood, we can determine if the follicle is mature, so we can determine the maturity of an ovarian follicle. Um, in an IVF cycle or in vitro fertilization cycle, we continuously monitor serum estradiol levels that um, kind of helps, helps us um, determine if the ovaries um, are, are, um, have um, developed mature follicles. Um, so we use it as a marker of um, ovarian um, follicular growth and development. LH stands for luteinizing hormone. This is also another hormone that is secreted by the pituitary gland and um, has very important roles in sexual development, in a woman's uh, reproductive function, and also regulating a woman's menstrual cycle. Um, it is also an important hormone determining ovulation and the timing of ov ovulation. Um, so typically LH levels um, increase right before a woman ovulates. And we use this um, increase or surge in LH levels to determine when a woman is going to be ovulating. AMH stands for anti-mullerian hormone. This is a glycoprotein type of hormone that is secreted by granulosa cells or support cells of antral follicles, small um, follicles in the ovary. And so we use AMH as a marker for a quantity or a woman's ovarian reserve. Progesterone is another important hormone that has important roles um, in, again, um, females' uh, reproduction and menstrual cycle. Uh, progesterone also has important roles in preparing the lining of the uterus, the endometrial lining, for implantation of an embryo. It has important roles in early pregnancy and helps maintain uh, the pregnancy um, early on. Prolactin, this is another type of hormone, um, also known as lactotrope, uh, that is secreted by uh, the anterior part of the pituitary gland, the same gland that is underneath the brain. And so prolactin um, is important in breast development, um, is also important in um, a woman's lactation and ability to breastfeed, uh, but is also important in regulating a woman's menstrual cycle and a woman's fertility. So when um, we are uh, working, we're, when we are evaluating a woman's fertility, uh, we uh, measure serum prolactin levels because elevated levels of serum prolactin um, can inhibit or prevent from ovulation, resulting in an ovulation, uh, which can then result in subfertility or infertility. So androgens, these are male type hormones, uh, hormones including um, testosterone and uh, DHEAS. And these hormones are typically produced and secreted by a woman's body, by um, a woman's ovaries and also adrenal gland. And sometimes um, elevated levels of these hormones can result in um, symptoms of 
hair growth or acne, skin breaking out. And this is something that uh, we sometimes can see in women uh, diagnosed with a condition um, called PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome.